time! is we're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. And the bad news? We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. <sighs> well, at least it's a good view. That it is. Damn it. So close. <sighs> well, since we're gonna die anyway, you have any, I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. I know, I've read your diary. <laughs> Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. It's the earthquake. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas Fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. Never doubted you for a second. Just had to hear it, you know? What the hell is that? Well, look who it is. Am I always going to save the day? I'd expect nothing less from the God of Thunder. Hi, Thor. Welcome back, Captain. This was your regenerative formula. George? How long have I been your lab rat? I knew you'd react like this. You'd rather die than need something from them. I trusted you. you saved your life. You can control machines with your mind. Just think of you all the- You infected me with his blood. It could have killed me. But it didn't. Remember the dream, George. How could you make me one of them? I made you strong. You stole my hope. And now... I am going to give you the same odds that I had. <laughs> I will rid the Earth of superpowers. Even if it has to end with me. They had you. This isn't on you. Tarleton didn't even know Monica had me. What? 
Day. The heist. Monica hired Taskmaster to steal a Terrigen crystal. His men triggered the security protocols, initiating the Chimera's autopilot. But, but that thing in the bay, that was unexpected. The heat signal. It must have been what caused the earthquake that took down the city. What was that? I don't know. Nat, I'd... I just keep thinking. If I hadn't... All those people... No. This is not your fault. That ship was never supposed to be in the air. I would have done the same thing. You're alive. I knew it. I'm sorry. Um, come on. You should really see this. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to be back. Since the Chimera's near crash into Manhattan, the situation has become dire. I fear AIM will use this as an opportunity to ramp up their persecution of all the Inhumans. We can't let that happen. The world needs the Avengers now more than ever. We are preparing for our final confrontation with AIM. I have completed my analysis of Mr. Stark's plans to equip the Avengers for this anticipated confrontation, and will need some special materials to complete them. Thanks, Jarvis. Time for us to get back in fighting form. Let's see what we need. Excellent, sir. As part of the effort, we might want to help our allies. Commander Hill and Dr. Pym are both reporting serious difficulty in coordinating our efforts due to AIM's draconian control over world communication networks. How can we help? They have requested we destroy AIM's main communication hub to help unite the Resistance efforts. Let's oblige them, old friend. Speaking of the media, reports of our own Thor Odinson working with ex-AIM scientists in a remote part of Scandinavia have started cropping up on the news. This may be part of AIM's propaganda campaign against the Avengers, but it bears investigation. Agreed. Let's get Thor on this ASAP. I should ask Thor to help me decorate.
Wanna go do some good? Looking good, Captain. Commander Hill, AIM's been spreading their lies about the Resistance for way too long. It has to stop. It's time we replace their poisonous lies with the truth. But their satellite array is vast. As long as that network is in place, they'll control the narrative. Jarvis has identified several AIM satellite hubs that control their communications. I see what you're thinking. If we can take one out, their network would collapse. At least for a few hours. We'd be able to send messages to the entire Resistance. Temporarily. So we'll have to make every word we broadcast count. We don't have any weapons strong enough to take out a satellite, so what's the play? The satellite is connected to Earth by a massive space elevator. That's how we'll get up there. <laughs> 